Hello, let's do the New York Times Hard Sudoku for January 24th, 2024. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started right now. All right, we'll start with some normal scanning here. So we have two sevens looking in. This seven looks in. Seven and one of these two. Uh, this five looks into here, and this five looks up. So we can place the five. Is there anything else I can do up here? Uh, this eight sees here, so eight's in one of these three. So those eights look in, this eight looks in, this eight looks up. So there's an eight here. Uh, let's follow up on eights. These eights look down. Uh, maybe there's not much to follow up on. <laughs> there's four left in this row, though, so we should think about that at least. We need three, four, five, and nine. Well, this can't be five, four or five, so this is three, nine. This is four, five, nine. This is not a nine or five, so this is three, four. Okay. I'll take it. Um, this is all of three, four, five, nine? I think so. All right, we got this eight. Anything else to find here? The two fives actually do look over, putting a five in one of these two. This five also looks up. Um, what does this box need? It needs a two, four, eight, nine. I mean, this can't be 9 and this can't be 8. So this is 2, 4, 9, and this is 2, 4, 8. These are any of them. All right, let's keep looking. Let's look here. I feel like there's a lot of opportunity for geometry here, um, especially this middle box. Let's see. Um, 7, 8, 9 in this column. So we need a 7 and a 9 in this column. 7 is quite limited. Seven's in two places, right here and here. Nine is in three places. Okay, not there. So how about seven, eight? No, seven, eight, one's not going to do anything here. How about one, eight, nine here? Uh, I don't see anything special about one, eight, nine. What have I not done yet? Uh, Seven. Did I do this? Did I do a seven eight nine? I don't think. I think. Yeah, I looked for seven nine. One seven eight. One eight nine here. So in this row, would be one seven nine. We have this one seven nine also. It's not quite good enough. This one seven is almost good enough. Wow. We we could still put it. We could still sneak a nine here. So we can't put a hidden triple. Um, eight nine could go in this row somewhere. And then one seven in this column. Okay, actually, oh look at that. So we have this one seven that sees this cell, and then this one seven sees this cell, and this one seven sees this cell. So in this column, where do one and seven go? There are only two places for one seven in this column. Of all the things I thought I'd get, I didn't think it would be that, but that's that's cool. So we had a hidden one seven pair here. So the remaining digits in this column. Actually, I just noticed we need a 6 in this column, and this, this sees a 6 in two different ways. So that's a 6. This is the only place for 6 in the column now, because this was a hidden 1, 7. These could only be 1 and 7. They couldn't be 6. So this is a 3, 4. Okay, that seems helpful. What are these four digits? Let's just think about it. Okay, we know the 2's in one of these two. Uh, so we need 2, 3. The 3's in one of these two. Uh, that places this 3. Very nice. Because this 3 looks in, this 3 looks down, these 3's point in. Uh, so this isn't 2 or 3. This is from 4 or 5 only. Seems helpful. So we need 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is 2, 4, 5. This is 3, 4, 5. This is any of, any of 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, okay, can we do anything with what we just got? The 3s or the 2s? No. Um, what about this like 3, 4, and 1, 7 pair? Does that do anything? Really want it to. Um, nothing's really looking in here to like take advantage of the fact that this got. This was already three four though. It's this one that became three four. So maybe that's helpful. The seven looking down and the seven looking in. So there's a seven one of these two. You know I could just scan some more. There's these sevens and this seven looks down. So we can place this seven. Uh, what are these four digits? We need a three, eight. Sorry, I missed something. Two three eight nine. Well, the nine's one of these two. The eight sees this cell. Two, three, eight, nine. Okay, so these these are two, three, eight, and 
these are, whoa, what did I just do? Sorry, I, I, I miss, let's do that again. These are from 238, and this 3 sees down. I don't know how I accidentally cleared both 3s. Uh, these are from 2389, but that's not a 2 and that's not an 8, so yay. <laughs> um, okay, what can I do here? 23939. Okay, so the thing I'm going to do here is see if we have a 239 triple. And an e probably an easiest way to check that is what are the other three digits that this column needs? So other than 239, it needs one. Or five. It needs one six seven. Well, this can't be one six or seven. So there we go. That's our two three nine. Um, so this is this also can't be three. So this is from two nine, and that gives us a two three nine triple. So that that's that's something that you can do when you scan. Um, is if you see an an almost, I do this a lot, and I almost never find it, which is why you may not have seen me do it very often. But it is something I scan for, which is. Is it possible for there to be a completed triple here, right? That's always a question to be asking, and we it happened to be true here. And so these are these are actually the one six seven. We can put one six seven here. That's not a seven. Um so what did this do? Seven's one of these two. Um I guess these seven I was looking at sevens. These sevens look in. So there's a seven one of these two. Uh, it looks like we're just down to these rectangle of sevens. Six helpful? No. Okay, what's this one six do? Doesn't help. Oh, uh, something it does. I was looking at the one three six because I remember I wanted to place the one three six over here. Um, at least I looked at it earlier. I don't know if I mentioned it. Did I mention that? I'm not, I'm not remembering what I mentioned or not, but um, this 136 was an almost hidden triple here. But now the 3 actually is interesting because the 3 can't go there. And this 16, because we got this 239 triple, this can't be 3 anymore. So 3 in this box is in one of these two, which actually places the 4 here. Because if this was a 3, then we wouldn't be able to put 3 in this row anymore. So that's a, that's a 3. That's not a 3 anymore. 2 9 pair places this 3. We're down to 5-9 here. Very nice. Okay, that's helpful. Uh, two, four, eight. We still don't have... Let's see, what's this do? <laughs> uh, what did I get? I got the 3, I got the 4. I got this 5-9 pair. So let's look at the rest of this box. We need one. I'm just going to fill it. We need one, two. We have three. We need four. We have five. We need six. Six. Okay. Well, six isn't one of these two. Hmm. Maybe I got a little too excited about that because that doesn't do much. Six, seven. Two, four, five, nine, two, eight. Okay, these the this three looks down with this three, putting three in one of these two. Um three in this row is in two places. In fact, we can look at these threes and this three, put a three in one of these two. You know, I don't think I actually really finished my scanning. Is there more to scan here? Let's start here. Let's horizontal scan here. Yeah, we can place this six. Yeah, if I had seen that, like that's there from the start, but I got so distracted with other things that I didn't finish scanning. So that's a six. That makes this a three and that a three. Deet, deet, doot. Nice. Um, what does this do? Twos are here, nines are here, eights are here. That doesn't really do much, does it? I don't need these cornered. All right, what's this three do for me or this six? The sixes look in. So six is one of these two. Oop, not five, six. Oof, okay. I feel like we got some good stuff. What can we do with it? This one and this one look in. So one's in one of these two. That's going to point up along with this one, putting a one in one of these two. I'm noticing kind of a weird pattern here. What about the rest of this row then? Because this is avoiding a lot of stuff. So we need a two, four, eight, nine. Oof, it's all of them. Wonderful. Uh, I don't want that marked. <laughs> I decided against it. 
Um, okay, what, el what else would be like worth looking at here? Verticals? Um, let me know if I see something. <laughs> Sixes? Okay, this six looks up and this one seven. Yeah, this six looks up. So six is in one of these two. Is this box limited? What do we need? We need one three. Yeah, one three, six, seven, and nine. This is quite limited, yeah. Um, so the ones I actually mentioned that aren't already corner marked. So let, let's let's make our corner marks center marks. So other than three, six, seven, we needed a one, which went here. We have the two, we have the three, four, five, we needed the six, nope, seven, eight, and we need a nine, which can go in these. Okay, so what does that get me? Three, nine. Seven nine one seven nine. Looking for more to do here. This puzzle's hanging on. I feel like I found what would typically be enough to finish a puzzle. I think <laughs> maybe this is on the a little on the harder side, huh? Um. Okay, that's all right. Uh, let's think about this box. We need one, two, four, five, eight. One, two, four, five, eight. Well, the fives are looking down actually. This five looks in, so five's over here. So these are not one, they could be two, four, they're not five. Wait, six, seven, eight. This is a naked single eight. Let's double check. It can't be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Yeah, that's a naked single eight. Wow. So that gives us the nine, the two, and the eight. Places this eight, places this nine. We get the five and the nine here. That's not an eight. We get the four here. This is now a triple involving one and five and something. Two. Oh, two is placed. Look at that. So that's a two. And then this is not a one. So that's five and one. Uh, this four looks up, giving us a two nine here. Okay. This is a single. That's a nine. That's seven. That's three. One. These aren't ones. That's not one or three. Okay, we have a 6-9 pair here. That's not a 3, so that places this 3. We get the 7 down here. Uh, this should be a single. Looks like a 5. That gets us the 4 here. This is 2 or 5. Don't need the corner marks. How about down here? What is this pair? Uh, 1 and something. So the 1 gets placed here, and then this is the something. The 4. Oof, okay. These three digits are two, four, and eight. Really? <laughs> That's it. Okay. Two's over here. Is that helpful? Uh, what else should I fill here? How about up here? We need the two, four, eight, nine. Okay, cleans up a little bit. The four is up here. That might help. Since the four is up here, this is not a four. The four is down here. Ah, uh, one, two. Three. I'm looking. All right. There's probably just something I haven't penciled that's important. Oh, I have this two four pair. Okay, so that's a one. That's a six. That's a nine. That's a six. This is not six. These aren't sixes. These aren't nines. So now the not yeah the two eight two four eight yeah this is a nine. Sorry, I thought we had a two eight pair for a second. I'm seeing things. Um. This two four pair also tells us this digit. It's a five. That's two and five. Okay. Um, so what are the four digits left in this box besides the one seven pair? We need a two, three, four, five. We need a six and an eight. Okay. Six is in one of these two. I guess I have to pencil over here. Uh, so we need a 1, which only goes there. We need a 2, which goes here. We have the 3. We need a 4, which only goes down here and here. We have the 5. We need a 6, which goes in one of these two. We have it corner marked. 
Uh, the seven is corner marked. We need an eight, which doesn't go up here. So eight is in one of these two. And we need a nine. Nine looks in, and nine looks in, and nine looks in. So nine's one of these two. Oh, actually, oh, is nine placed? That must be it. Yeah, nine is placed, which gives us this seven, gives us the one and the seven, gives us the eight. This is now the one. We get the four, six, and two. We get the two, four, and eight. We get the two, six, eight, four, two, and four, and we're done. First to solve it. Okay. I mean, this is a hard one then. Um, cool. Yeah, there were there were some tough spots in this puzzle. There was this. Well, there was a three, four pair here, I believe. Or was it the one, six, seven? I found a hidden triple in this column. Well, I found a naked triple and a hidden triple at the same time because we had we had this almost triple here. It was two three nine, if I recall. And then I I I did my normal scan of going. Well, is it possible that there's another two three nine cell? And it turns out that there had to be here. So that was important. And then I think the follow up to this was important. That that eliminated three from here. So these threes claimed and gave us this four. That felt important. What was the next important step after that? There were so many. Um, this naked eight was important. <laughs> uh, I feel like there was something even after that naked eight, though. I don't remember. But yeah, oh, very tough puzzle today. Some really hard spots in this one. Wouldn't blame you if this took a while. Um, a lot of the traditional methods failed on this one, I think. I think you had to spot quite a few different kinds of techniques. Um, that of the type that are more difficult to spot, like random triples in the middle of columns, um, and then claiming. So like, yeah, if you penciled everything, you probably found this triple in this naked eight. But if you pencil everything, you might not find the claiming threes here. Things like that could be really tough to spot. So a really nice mix there in this puzzle, actually. Uh, really test your metal. Let me know how you did. And of course, if you enjoyed this, why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.